Jim Atkinson scored an impressive hat-trick of tries as England sealed the three-match series with a 20-14 victory over New Zealand at Anfield. The St. Helens winger followed a thumping try-saving tackle with three well-taken tries as England fought back to win a bruising second test. Mackinson's decisive score, in which he weaved through the Kiwi defence to touchdown, completed a superb display. Jake Connor claimed England's other tries the hosts overturned a 14-6 deficit. Victory gave England the series before next Sunday's final test in Leeds. Connor put the hosts into an early lead with a penalty before Kiwi captain Dallin Watin Salasniak scored the opening try for the visitors. England drew level before the interval after a smart finish out wide by Mackinson. New Zealand regained the lead five minutes after the break as Wayne Selesniak went clean through before feeding Ken Mamalo on the wing, for a simple run in. Sean Johnson added a further two points before the hosts enjoyed a resurgence after Mackinson added his second try of the match. With a series victory in sight, England piled on the pressure and Tom Burgess crossed the whitewash, only to be held up by three Kiwis defenders. However, parity was restored moments later when Connor spun his marker to fall over the line as England capitalised on a drop possession by the Kiwis. Mackinson added his third and completed the comeback, darting inside off the wing, picking a path to the line and dotting down to send the Liverpudley and crowd into raptures. The 27-year-old flyer was the difference between the two sides as England claimed their second successive series victory over the Kiwis. Mackinson's outstanding defensive work helped tease the pressure on the hosts as New Zealand came flying out of the blocks. With the visitors having taken the lead through Wadi Zelezniak, Kevin Proctor was bearing down on the England line, only to be stopped by a fierce tackle from Mackinson. He coped well under the high ball and was brilliant at turning defence into attack by carrying possession out from deep. The Wigan-born flyer opened his account, drawing England level, two minutes before the break with a good finish in the corner after George Williams' accurate pass over the top. Mackinson's second came after a cute flick on from Connor in the corner, while the third showed great individual skill. Having been fed the ball on the touchline, the wide man showed blistering pace to dart inside and finish well to hand England the series with one game to play. New Zealand showed intent to revive their series chances from the opening moments, and 23-year-old Wadim Zelazniak was at the heart of everything they tried. The fullback scored the first try of the match after bursting onto a weighted pass by Nakorama from a great angle, to evade Sam Tompkins' attempted tackle. That same combination worked again for the visitors' second try when the Corma's sharp movement and flat pass created room for his captain from deep, although he still had work to do. Watin Zalesniak sprinted clear before producing a precise pass out wide to pick out Mamalo for an easy run-in. Ultimately, the Kiwis fell short after failing to punish England with enough points after their early dominance. Talisman Johnson had a relatively quiet game by his high standards but in 24-year-old Nakurama and Wadim Zalesniak, New Zealand have a talented playmaker and a world-class athlete with the best years of their careers ahead. England head coach Wayne Bennett told BBC Sport, I have always been proud of them since I took the job, today they delivered it at another standard. We started last year in the World Cup in Australia and built on that. These games will give us confidence in the way they are won. Tommy Mackinson was unbelievable. He was last week too. Today he was just in a league of his own. New Zealand head coach Michael Maguire, international footy brings that, the best of each country playing against each other. We've got a group in there hurting. Got some harsh lessons learned, that's for sure. England have been performing very well and are obviously a team who have been together for a while. They understand that each set is so crucial that as a New Zealand team, we need to apply that and take some harsh lessons. Former England forward John Wilkin, Tommy Mackinson has been the best winger in Super League all year. He carries the ball as strong as anybody and his work rate is fantastic.
Ex-Great Britain coach Brian Noble, this England pack are as good as any in the world. They are special. They are so difficult to stop.